dangerously yours. Dangerously Yours, a half hour of romantic adventure presented by Vicks and starring Victor Jory in The Pirate of Orleans. You know when head colds are in the air, millions of people use Vicks Vapronol nose drops to relieve distress, benefit by their experience. And now, Dangerously Yours. I am adventure. In my name, men have traversed the highways, the byways, the skyways of the world. I have tramped the jungles with explorers. I have crossed the wilderness frontiers on horseback and in covered wagons. I am the fire that burns in the heart of youth, that makes men dream and dare and conquer. I am dangerously yours. Come with me today to the high seas of adventure. Walk the decks of a tall masted ship with one of the boldest swashbuckling adventurers that ever sailed, the Pirate of Orleans. Have you met John Lafitte yet? No, I can't say that I have. Well, my dear, he's the most handsome thing you ever saw in your life. Is he married? No one knows, but there are all sorts of stories. I've heard that he's married to an Indian princess, a Spanish countess, and a Viennese dancer. What does Mr. Lafitte say to all this? What does Mr. Lafitte say? I have it on very good authority that Jean Lafitte stopped an entire revolution once. One man against thousands. On whose authority do you have it? Why, on Lafitte's, of course. (laughs) What do you know about Lafitte, Tom? Lafitte? Well, he and his brother have a very fine blacksmith shop. They just bought a store, and he's a gentleman. Why? Well, I've heard that he's the leader of the pirates of Barataria. Oh, nonsense. Whatever Jean Lafitte is, he's positively not a pirate. There's a white flag going up. Are you sure? Take a look for yourself. Mm. All right. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold fire. <laughs> Robertson, Peters, Benson, Dominic, you. Lower a boat and come with me. Pete, get in as close as you can. I'll remove the crew and the passengers and take the ship back to Barataria. That's too fine a ship to destroy. Come on, men. Let's see what prize we've captured. Look at this hole, Dominic, you. Look at those silks and those spices. We'll get good money for this treasure in New Orleans. Uh, there was a very pretty girl, did you notice, boss? Way over at the start, but she was standing. Her hair was like sunshine on a yellow corn. Dominic, what are my orders about women on captured ships? Oh, but could we make an exception just the once? I'd like that girl with the yellow hair. I'd even marry her. Caramia, such a beauty. What are my orders, Dominic? Uh, under no circumstances is any woman on any captured ship to be approached for any reason whatsoever. Conversed with or touched unless... Uh, 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 unless by the captain. Unless by the captain. Unless it is necessary in removing them from one ship to another or from ship to land. See that you remember it. You wouldn't look well in irons, Dominic, you. No, I would not. All right, you start lifting the things down here while I go above. We're setting sail at once. It's not asking too much. Would you mind telling me where you're taking us? Where were you bound? New Orleans. And that is where you will be taken. Who are you? What's your name? Constance Winthrop. Constance Winthrop. 
is your father General Winthrop? Yes. Then what are you doing on a Spanish ship? I was visiting friends in Spain. If it's any of your business... Ah, you should be more careful with your tongue in the presence of pirates, Miss Winthrop. I'm not afraid of you. You'd better be. I'm just as like as not to make you walk the plank, tie you to the yardum, or give you the spanking of your life. You... You do that to a woman? Yes, if I thought she was trying to be on equal footing in a man's world. You have a little to learn about women, pirate. I'm not interested in being taught, Miss Winthrop. You're impossible. You're a conceited, egotistical, arrogant, self-centered... Handsome, magnificent, exciting, fabulous pirate. Now you better go back to your cabin before I make you walk the plank, tie you to the yard arm, or... What was that other thing I mentioned, Miss Winthrop? Oh, I loathe you. <laughs> oh, uh, pirate, where is that music coming from? That's Dominic you playing his fiddle. You'd better stay in your quarters. No. Let me look at the moon for a moment and taste the salt on my lips and feel the wind around me. I... I'm sorry I was so rude this afternoon. I lost my temper. It doesn't matter. Women are as changeable as the weather. I don't pay any attention to their moods. I wish you liked me better. Why should you care what I think of you? In the morning, you'll be in New Orleans and you will have left my world. Perhaps... I'd like to stay in it. You'd like to stay on a pirate ship? I think I would. If it were your ship. Ah, that's because there's a moon tonight. And the air is sweet and someone's playing a fiddle. Some other day when the decks were running blood and the air was heavy with the smell of death, you wouldn't like a pirate ship. What's your name? I have no name. You're a hard man to get to know. That's right. And after tomorrow... I'll never see you again? I hope not. You'd put a rope around my neck. Well, the air's getting cold. You'd better turn in. Have you ever kissed a woman, pirate? A thousand. Would you kiss me? Good night and goodbye. Or are you afraid? Afraid? Oh, <laughs> no. But you should be. Why? Because to me, you'd be just another woman that I had kissed. <laughs> Next week, I wouldn't even remember it. But if I kissed you, if I kissed you, you'd never have heart or lips for another man in your life. You're a modest man, aren't you? Modest? Me? <laughs> I should say not. Why should I be modest? I'm a conqueror and a pirate. Well, good night, conqueror. I hope I never do see you again. The temptation to put a rope around that neck might be too great. Good night. Good night, my beauty. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Are you awake? Yes, Dominic. What is it? We're at anchor now. We're ready to take the passengers into New Orleans. Are you uh, coming up to see them? No. The signorina looks as though she had been crying. I uh, would kiss her myself if it would do any good. <laughs> Aren't you even going to say goodbye? No. Take them in. All right, boss. All right. Hello, hello, Pierre. We made quite a haul this trip. We won't be able to dispose of it for a while, no? I'm afraid. We're in a little trouble, my brother. Why? What's happened? <laughs> Governor Claiborne has sworn to stop all privateering. He says he's going to wipe out Barataria if it's the last thing he does in this world. And he says he's going to hang the leader before all of New Orleans. Has he named the leader? No. Well, then, what are you worried about? In the eyes of New Orleans, we're respected citizens, decent and peace-loving. Maybe, and maybe not. People have always had suspicions. Well, let's not worry about it. I'll have a bath and a shave, and then I'll go pay a social call on Governor Claiborne. Perhaps for tea. <laughs> I haven't had tea with the governor for a long time now. Too long for such friends to be apart. I tell you, Jean, I'm going to rid New Orleans of those pirates if it's the last thing I do. I don't blame you. 
I don't blame you. Why, it's gotten so no one's safe around here anymore. I may call on you for help. And I'll be glad to help in any way I can. Uncle dear, have you seen my knitting? Hello, Constance, my dear. I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine, Mr. Jean Lafitte. My niece, Miss Winthrop, Mr. Lafitte. She's staying with me until her father returns. This is a pleasure, Mr. Lafitte. A very great pleasure, Miss Winthrop. Uh, I'm afraid I must beg to be excused. I must look in at the shop before it closes. Well, then, I'm very happy to have met you, Mr. Lafitte, and I trust we will meet again soon. Thank you, Miss Winthrop. Good day. Good day, Governor. Come again soon, Jean. That's a very handsome man, Uncle. That's a very dangerous man. I'm convinced he's the leader of the privateers. He doesn't look very dangerous to me. Are you positive? I'm so positive I'm going to put a price on his head and send my men after him tonight. Come in. Come in, Miss Winthrop. Sit down. You'll find that corner chair the most comfortable. Thank you. Would you care for a sherry? Thank you, no. Your manners have improved since we last met, well, sir. I changed with the environment. Why did you come here? My uncle knows who you are. You told him? No. I don't know how he found out. If that's true, if it's true that he knows, why, did he, why didn't he keep me this afternoon? <laughs> What match would he have been for you? He was alone in the house. Tonight he will come with troops. He doesn't think that you suspect that he knows. So naturally he wouldn't expect you to try to escape. Well, then I must be on my way. There are some men to be warned. Hurry then and take care of yourself. I suppose this time I never will see you again. Constance? Yes? Once I told you I'd kissed a thousand women. It was a lie. I know. I've only kissed two or three hundred. Now, how many men have you kissed? Very few. But you offered me a kiss. Why? Such a foolish reason, I'm afraid. I just wanted to kiss you. Will you kiss me now? No. Not after the way you acted. I was never so humiliated. Darling. Darling. You know, you really should try to keep that temper in check. I told you not to kiss me. And you might as well have said, stop breathing. Goodbye, Constance. Goodbye and thank you. When will I see you again? When will you see me again? You'll see me when the moon rises in a certain way that you will remember seeing before in a midnight sky. You'll see me when you see a ship at anchor with a battered look to her. You'll see me when you hear someone laugh in a certain way or someone shout... Or perhaps cry. And you'll see me every time someone else kisses you. I will not. If I'm never to see you again, I can forget you in a minute. You'll see. I can forget you, all right. Yes? Then you're not the girl for me, my beauty. Goodbye. Joe! Goodbye! Oh, I hate that man. I hate that man. But, oh, Karamia, how I love him. Dangerously Yours. We'll be back in just a moment with Act Two of The Pirate of Orleans. Friends, have you ever noticed how in summertime... Some people just resign themselves to the misery of sniffles and sneezes caused by summer colds. Maybe you are guilty yourself of such neglect. And if that's the case, you owe it to yourself and to those around you to see how quickly Vicks Vatronol brings comforting relief from distress. It's really so simple. All you do is put a few drops of Vatronol in each nostril, and instantly you will feel this specialized medication start to work right where trouble is to soothe the sneezy irritation. And what's more, Vatronol opens up the nasal passages and makes breathing easier. When you see how Vatronol brings relief from discomfort of head colds, you will know why so many new thousands of people keep a bottle always handy, ready to use whenever needed. Just try it. Follow the directions in the folder. 
Vic's Vapronol Nose Drops. And now, Act Two of The Pirate of Orleans, starring Victor Jory. Mr. Lafitte, the British government is prepared to offer you the sum of $30,000 in return for your help in capturing the city of New Orleans and full pardon for you and your men. Does the offer interest you? The offer interests me very much. But I shall have to have time to think it over. Very well, Mr. Lafitte. As you know, we are anchored just outside your harbor. We shall await your answer. John! John, I'm so glad I found you. I have to talk to you. How did you ever find your way here through all the swamps? I persuaded one of the men to bring me. Oh, Jean, there's terrible trouble in the city. The bread, but there aren't enough men to fight. General Andrew Jackson has just arrived, and he's ill with a fever and can't get men. Jean, the city's going to be captured. What do you want me to do about it? Why, help defend it. Are you forgetting there's a price on my head in New Orleans? I'm sure you could get a pardon. Oh, Jean, I want New Orleans safe, and I want you safe in New Orleans. And I don't want safety. I've never wanted it. I don't want it now. I want a deck under my feet and a gun in my hand and a worthy prize coming in on the horizon. And I thought I loved you. Why, you haven't a decent, honorable motive in you. I thought you were a fearless man who would fight for a principle if you believed in it. But I see now you're only a thief after all. You'll only fight for a prize. Well, goodbye, Mr. Lafitte. Forgive me for taking up your time. General Jackson, you've read my papers. Now then, will you grant a pardon for my men and for me so that we may fight for the United States? The United States is most grateful, Mr. Lafitte. We accept your help with deep thanks. And your pardon shall be granted. Accept our humble thanks for the victory we have just won. Well, Mr. Lafitte, America and New Orleans will always be grateful to you. If it hadn't been for your help and the help of your men, we'd never have won such a great victory. Thank you, General Jackson. We were fighting a great cause. And now, my boy, go on out there and dance and have a good time. You're the hero of the hour, and all the ladies are waiting to dance with you. Tell you about myself? Well, now, let's see. A year or two ago, south of the Canary Islands, oh, very south of the Canaries... I defeated an entire native army single-handed. All by yourself? Mr. Lafay, just imagine. It was nothing. I picked them up two by two and cracked their heads together. Oh, Mr. Lafay, do tell me all about yourself. Well, that was at sea. One time six or seven months ago, somewhere north of Haiti, oh, very north of Haiti as a matter of fact, I decided to hunt for treasure on the ocean bed. So I put one knife in my teeth and one in each hand and dove in. I came face to face immediately with six sharks. Oh, what happened? They ate me. Oh. So I wiped out the entire nation of cannibals single-handed. And then I was a little tired. When the camel got tired of carrying me, I carried the camel. The Sultan had a harem of sixty wives. I had a thousand and sixty. And so I slept for the next hundred and twenty years. <laughs> <laughs>
I was wondering if our pleasure of dancing with a lion of the evening. I've been hearing stories about you. You defeated an entire native army single hand. You, Constance. For a fact, it was only a brigade. I also understand. Married a camel. It was a small. But you slept for the year. But only idea. Oh. Oh, let's dance. Let's go outside by the water for a few moments. All right. Ah, smell. I think it deep. Save it and take it and don't let it get away from you. You see when you close your eyes and, and smell the sea. I got the sight from without, and I see you in that house. You're looking as though you were part of it. I see the boys with your eyes. Your trick is shaking your head, shaking your head with your angry, rocking in and out of the house, banging the doors and playing it with laughter. What do you I see? I see, see, veils, veils filled with wind. And sometimes I see that it's swelling and, some, and sometimes rocking and ready for a brawl. I see the Indies. I see islands. Trees again, the yellow moon, the bananas and peanuts and coconuts within, nuts within reach of your hand. Cliffs, mountains, Ben, see who's coming. And I see a blinking of you. And you see the ends of the world. I smell it and see home. And that's the difference between us. So this is where we say goodbye, Constance, my dear. Oh no, stay no. Try it here. You might like it. I couldn't live the life of an honest man. I've had no practice. Do you want to domesticate me like a cow or a dog? Do you want to put veins instead of blood in our place? 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 Be so out of a week that you'd hate me. Hate me. Some things are ages, my dear. And I... You love me. Oh, Constance, what's the good of... I'd that? like to know. You never say it. Yes. I love you. And I suspect life. I'm going to have a great heart. Leave me. Yes, I'll leave you. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. When are you going? Yes, in anchor now. Up. Well, if you'd rather wife, I'm here with you. That's the spirit. My, your fingers at me. Tell me to go and be hanged. There are plenty of other men just as attractive as pirates and more honest. Not as attractive as I am. I am a very special, even among pirates. Yes, you certainly are. You haven't got a heart. Well, your heart should be. You've got a cut. Oh, careful, careful. You don't let yourself trip over that cutlass. You might get your feelings hurt. Oh, I loathe you. Good. Now we're on the same end. And with that, I bid you an affectionate good night and goodbye. I, uh, I, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want, him, I don't want harder for you to forget me. It... Good night. Goodbye. Oh, John, John. Oh, 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 aggravated. <laughs> Well, Dominic, we're off an adventure, off an adventure, off an adventure, off an adventure again, eh? Yes, boss. Where are we bound? We bound. We bound. I don't know, South. We're off on a lot. We're off on. Are we uh, running away? Yes, Dominic. You might say we are. What? We're running away from domesticity, domesticity, from cottage, from cottages and ruffles. We're we're going back into a man's world. Myself, myself, I like a man's world. That's your great weakness. Huh? Well, it's late. And for a while. Bosun, steady as she can. Good night, boss. He... Hello, pirate. Dominic, you stop playing. Going to help what? My quarters, my quarters, and on my ship. I'm always for good sand windows. And you'll have to make me... I'll make you no concession. You're going right back to New Orleans. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in the India, uh, in the India, uh, in the India. Going to China, uh, in the India, uh, in the India. I'm, 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 I'm trees against cliffs where the cliffs where the cliffs where the cliffs where the mountains bend coming in the harbor. I'm going. Isn't the light of cottages and fires and things? Oh, you. Oh, don't send me back, Jean. I love you. Don't oh, I do here? Yes, you do. The stars and the winds. And... And who are you about your conquests? And who are you going if not me? I am sufficient unto myself. I see. The king. Right. Well, Moon, you're going to throne three now. Well, well, I have to put up with it. Have to put up with it. <laughs> but 
like as I look. Like it. You're a bad and a shrill tempered scrap on ever there was one. <laughs> Honey, expect you're a me as a don from thin for some in my youth. <laughs> but. Then, oh, yes. Be, you can be very sure of that. I do love you. I everything all right, boys. Everything's wonderful, well, Dominic. You everything wonderful. Uh, then, uh, good. Uh, this is a good time to tell you I have a life with you and no hair down the hole. No, it's no, uh, not a good time. Then I, I'm a good night, boys. A good night. <laughs> What happens this time if I ask you to kiss me? Just bring your chin and see. Oh, oh Jean. You're so wonderful. Huh? Huh? Well, yes. Yes, I must. I am, I must admit it. Good ship, the crew, and... Well, I, and she, I tell you something. I did it all oh, my... Sing, sing, single hand. Oh. <laughs> in just a moment, 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 exciting, exciting, dangerously, if folks, isn't it provoking, especially in summertime, to have a day ruined or a night's rest, sports by sniffling, by sniffling, by sniffling, one. And what a wheeze when you get rid of it. That's why more of the people are patronal. Sn- sneezes such as and such puts. Hops of patronal and relief. Plus, because medication and the irritation is, it helps clear to make breathing. So try patronal. Patronal. You really in for the breathing comfort. Breathing comfort brings heat as it relieves. As it relieves head distress. Close head cold. Four directions in the wind. Holder. Wind holder. Hit amber. It's Vic. Nose drop. Nose drop. <laughs> I am adventure. The hills and the moors of ancient Scotland, Rockland, collide with one of the most daring, courageous men, the Wallace of Sir. Wallace of Sir. Today by Gene Holloway and directed by Richard Sandville. Music under the series is under the direction of Mark Warno. The part of the Constance Winner was, was, was played by Grip, was played by Grip, was played by Grip, was played by Be sure and listen again next week when Vix presents Dars, starring Vic Jory. To be as vitally young and attractive as you should, you must have...